Dude, thanks for uh, thanks for doing this. Yeah, we got beef. We do. Well, you got beef. Oh, God, I got no beef. I thought you'd have beef for me. Oh, I actually did cook you something. <laughs> did you actually? Yeah. Oh, cause Hang I'm on. hungry. Hang on. I just did. I just did my pop tart, so you know I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, I yeah? Know you like food. What you got for me down there? There it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Looks good, right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, here's another one. If you're that hungry. I'm wow. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. I take it back. I take it back. I don't like the way he's looking at me. <laughs> I was just thinking of you know, just horrible things to say, but that's so cool that those have been inside. <laughs> Dude, by the way, um after I did the the show with Cody, mm -hmm. I was I was in character for a little bit. Were you? Yeah. What'd you do? I was I went to Boomers. Oh, okay. yeah. Drove okay. around for a little bit. You actually drove a go kart. Of yeah, a Boomers. Where uh, is the closest Boomers? Irvine. <laughs> you went all the way to Irvine. You could have gone to K one. <laughs> I didn't know what that was. Oh man, you could have gone to K one in Burbank. <laughs> you made it harder on yourself. <laughs> I went to. Um, I ordered some food without asking anybody else. Okay, nice. That was a very noel thing. Yeah, that's and very me. I just showed up late everywhere. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. When you cosplay as me. Yeah, felt good. Yeah. You weren't offended or anything. Right? No, no, no. No. Definitely not. Okay. All right. Now that now that I'm here, now that the boss is here, fuck. Let's talk about a few things, crew. Okay. Uh -huh. First of all, after looking at you guys and looking at this show. You shouldn't have desks. Really? No. You guys need to be put together. Okay. Like, you and you and Zach are... Um, Wait, is this a performance review? Sort of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just, I think you guys need... You guys are so attached already as people mm -hmm. that I think you guys need to sit closer together. I think the energy can't be captured when you guys are this far away from each other. Yeah. I think you need to be smushed. Closer, you're saying? Yeah. Okay, I like that note. So, Ryan, get them a couch. All right, I just got a thumbs up. <laughs> Sick. I'm coming here ordering things around. All right, what yeah. else? You got anything else for us? Um, Replace my co-host, yes. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I think it should be me. Okay, yeah. No, 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 you guys need to be on a couch. <laughs> okay. And we need to take all your memorabilia and acclimate it somewhere, you know, okay. like a... Like a small shrine that can be wheeled in and out. Oh, I know? like that. You can put a bookshelf. Yeah, you can put Zach, all of Zach's bullshit um, trophies for, you know, fantasy leagues uh -huh. that he desperately clings on to. Yeah, we gotta talk about that later. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> we gotta give Zach some real accomplishments. That should yeah. be the the. <laughs> you don't like his you don't like his setup right now. No, this needs to be put in a special place. We're going to figure it out. In the trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff can stay. Yeah. Oh, that's yours. Yeah, yeah. The cars the can stay. Cars. The cars can stay. This stuff, I don't know. Yeah, the, the belts can stay, too. Are those your actual belts? <laughs> yeah, I bought them. <laughs> oh, I thought you actually earned them. <laughs> no, I don't know why people go to school. You can just buy the belt. <laughs> just wear them. Yeah, it's way easier. You just. By buy the it. way, when people, I, I notice there's a tr tradition you guys do at TMGs when you guys come on each other's shows. Mm -hmm. You guys bring a gift. Is there something you brought uh, for me or? Yeah. 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 Interesting. The immigration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought ice. Ice is here. <laughs> okay, wait, I have my, I have my papers. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know now. Fuck. <laughs> Where is my birth certificate? Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Let's talk sports, dude. I'm stoked. I watched so much sports this weekend. How yeah? about you? Oh, s same. Did you actually? A lot. Actually, I did a lot. But before we talk sports, Ryan makes us do this. Dude, so dumb. Yeah? You got to talk to Ryan. He makes us do these like fucking cue card things. Okay. Let's see it. Usually, Zach reads them, so if you don't mind reading it for- No, I'll read it. Okay, thank you. I'll read it. It's so annoying, but whatever. Right. <clears throat> hey, foul tippers. It's me, Noel. Your favorite media- uh, mogul? Yeah. Your favorite media mogul. And I'm here to tell you to be sure to be sure. What? 
Dude, Am Ryan, I having a stroke? Ryan, dude, he makes it so ridiculous. Okay, I'm here to tell you to be sure, to be sure to thumbs up this episode and leave a five-star review on Spotify and Apple Music. Actually, go do that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely go do that. Uh-huh. Is that- Hold on, I'm waiting for my next thought. Oh. I believe... Oh. <clears throat> oh, I was just thinking. I love Waleed and... Zach. Hard for you to say that one. Huh? Yeah, and think they are way cooler than me, and also cute. Again, my name is Noel Miller, and I stand by this message. Huh? It's not our usual copy, but that's that's, that's really weird. weird. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks, Ryan. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Ryan wrote those. Uh-huh. <laughs> he writes every single one of them. <laughs> okay. Dude, I am very thankful to have you on. Why? Because every fucking episode, talk about F1, talk about UFC. Oh, okay. Yeah, talk about go-karting. Okay, well, <laughs> oh. did you bet on any of it this weekend? I did not. Damn. I had my money locked up in some other bets. Like what? Uh, Baseball. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> like r- real sports. How'd you do? Real sports. So, I mean, uh, no, 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 no. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I'm up. It's, it's about to be up. <laughs> oh, shit. It's about to be up and stuck. I don't like this hostile <laughs> tone we have. <laughs> um no you're up who'd you bet on um the astros okay. beating the yankees are they are they still like in the doghouse who astros yeah for cheating uh what do they cheat on the world like leading up to the world series oh they cheated i had no idea bro they were they were um how would you describe this they were um steroids no 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 i mean that's everyone yeah but okay i don't want to i don't want to misrepresent someone feel free to correct me in the comments but the best way I could describe what the Astros did is they were stream sniping. <laughs> what? They were stream sniping other teams. How do you do that? They, I, my knowledge is that they were reviewing tapes or like watching other people's games uh, and kind of developed a system around how to beat them. Yeah. Well, they got me. They got me some bread, man. Yeah. I can't hate on. <laughs> I'm into it. Fuck it. They can cheat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, I think that's what a lot of people said this season. They cheated as well. All right, so uh, you you came up on the Astros. Who else? Um, and then also the Phillies versus versus, uh, versus Padres versus Padres, which yeah. is insane. Yeah. Okay. So do you can you explain to me why that was so crazy? I watched clips of it. Um, uh, it was crazy because uh, you won one thousand <laughs> <yeah>. dollars. <laughs> it's crazy because I'm up. No, I just I just, I don't think anybody really expected them to go to the World Series. Got it. And the fact that the Dodgers, it's a bad time to be a Dodgers fan right now. Yeah. Didn't they, didn't they bomb it hard against the Padres? They choke. They, <laughs> yeah. So hard. Okay. Sorry, I won't do that again. No, yeah. No, I liked that. <laughs> <laughs> that made me feel something. I think they won like over a hundred games and then they got to the fucking, I don't know. Champions. Playoffs. Yeah, playoffs. Yeah. They just choked. Same wow. with the Yankees. Everyone was thinking Yankees, Dodgers, oh, they're going to go. Mm-hmm. Now it's fucking Phillies and Astros. Wow. No one wants to watch that. Yeah, so what game are we on in the series now? <laughs> um, I think now it's Astros and Phillies playing this week. Got it. Who game do you think who do you think's gonna go to the I hope win? Philly wins for the sake of um you know <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a dark bit right there. Let me just leave that alone. I just hope I hope the Phillies win. Can I guess? Yeah. Um <laughs> I have no idea actually. I don't know how your mind works. Yeah, no, nah, just for the safety of sports wives all across Philadelphia. Right, 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 right. You know, there is... I'm sorry. You know, they're greasing up poles now, right? What do you mean? So, like, if they... So, fucking Philly fans don't run around taking street poles. Oh, yeah, that's I mean, right. Yeah, oh, they're, yeah. They're greasing yeah, them yeah, down. Oh, yeah. After the Eagles won that yeah. year. Dude, do you, do you remember that year? Did you go on Snapchat that year? No. Oh, my God, dude. After the Eagles won the Super Bowl, um, this is so great. Wow. So Greasing poles. <laughs> Philly, I love you guys, but god damn it. <laughs> yeah. Is it that bad? Oh, f- dude, do you know anyone from Philly? Mm-mm. They're all psychos. Brooke? Brooke's from Philly. It's it's in it's in her. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just it's winning. innate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can... Should the right situation arise, it'll come out. It'll pop out. Yeah. I promise you. You know? Brooke is a non-confrontational person, but right. if fire put to her feet, I bet she'd fight. Yeah, and climb up some poles. <laughs> I mean, damn. <laughs> Be greased. Yeah, that just reads so horrible. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, anyway. Um, no, after the Eagles won, 
the Super Bowl, I remember we were sitting there. It was like me, Spock, Alina, and we went straight to <laughs> Periscope and the Snapchat oh, shit. heat map. It was insane. Periscope? Periscope, dude. Damn. It was still live on Twitter. Damn. Motherfuckers are going live for like nine people, burning cars. You know? oh, Not like wow. burning cars, but like, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. a little bit. But, you know, just <laughs> throwing beer cans at people and just losing it. Is this the Middle East? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I used to go on Periscope, and I used to go to the Middle East. Same, same. Yeah, yeah, dude. They're all just driving. They're not doing shit. They're driving, or they're at like some weird store <laughs> cafe. <laughs> so funny, man. Yeah, literally. So did you see anything crazy happen during the? It was just people like climbing up the poles, going way too high. Yeah, this shit. You know, you know, um, purge. Basically, yeah, trashing the city. That's sick. Dude, we got to go. <laughs> we got to go. I love how there's no rules after fucking when they win. You could just steal shit. You could fucking destroy stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't think anyone It's like is, allowed. I mean, the people of Philadelphia I is a it's a tough breed. Yeah. I don't think you can stop them. Yeah. Yeah. Um so you know, God willing, it's tough, you know. Uh yeah, run this, run this. Jesus. Yeah, they just, yeah. Like, that's not too bad. Just some trees. Okay, there is Carlton. That, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> they barricaded them? Nah, I mean, maybe. Maybe that was a barricade. The yeah. Danny DeVito t shirt. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, we got to go. If they win, we have to go to. Oh, we'll, God, we'll dude. We'll vlog it. <laughs> my humor my humor's so bad, dude. My humor's so bad. All right, things we're going to talk about today. Up It'll be just like Astro World. <laughs> oh, okay, oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. UFC fights. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of them. Big F1 race. Yeah, speaking of getting stomped out. Yeah, and God. then also I have here why Noel is a big little baby who won't admit defeat and won't stream. But yeah, We could, we could uh, save that for later if you want. So, fights. Yes. Did you watch them? I did watch them. Did you actually? Yeah, I did watch. I watched. I got sent uh, a link by Kyle. Okay. Uh, uh, a proper a link, a link to ESPN.com. Yes, yes. Where to go it, you get signed the up card. and you paid yep, for the pay per view. Yep. You paid the seventy five dollars for the pay per view. It was seventy five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me. It was hard for you to remember because yeah. you were winning so much on sports betting. Right, right, right. And my credit card is already in there. Yeah. So you just, I just ran hit it. enter. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. And yeah. I was watching it. Uh, crazy. Fucking, I didn't know, what's his face, Dillashaw dislocated his shoulder yes. until after the fight. Yes. Because he was just getting his ass beat yes. right away. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Can, can you pull up, just if you Google search UFC, and we can go a little bit fight by fight um, and talk about some shit. Well, real quick, why, why should people like UFC? And okay. The, MMA in general, the sport of MMA. Okay. I'm not going to say, <laughs> that's a loaded question. <laughs> Relax, Steven Crowder. <laughs> so sc scroll down. It definitely, you know, if you haven't seen this, yeah, go more fights. All right, let's start with Benil. What'd you call me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is not, um, before anyone gets mad at me, I genuinely did miss the flyweight fight and the um, the prelims. But if if I just looking at Manon versus Chikugian, uh, I always fuck her name up, Caitlin. I would have thought Caitlin would have won, but um, I'm not too familiar with either of them as fighters, so forgive me. But hats off to Manon. I tuned in right when the fight card started with Benil. Okay. Okay. So, uh, God, where do you begin? Benil is a fucking monster. Did you watch this fight? I did not. I watched it right during when Sterling started. When that fight happened. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um So what happened here? Well, Benil is just a monster. Extremely tough. He it, it's weird because he's kind of getting slept on as far as a lightweight contender. And and before the MMA subreddit burns me at the stake. <laughs> um I'm speaking on foggy memory here, okay? So uh, humor me. But Benil uh, this guy's a beast, and he took this fight with Gamrot. Gamrot's, I think, a little bit younger, but explosive between these two. Um, 
What are these stats under this? Their wins and losses. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's their waist measurements. Dude. <laughs> I thought that was their age for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, he's twenty-two. <laughs> nice. He's he finished four years of high school <laughs> and yeah. one year of college. More than me. <laughs> yeah, nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they should rank that's how they should present <laughs> mma fighters just their age years of education completed and i'm gonna say um no no no. actually it should be age and then uh religious like Belief. uh, uh extremism on yeah. a scale of one to ten yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i like that a yeah. lot 10 Absolutely. being like god is great well no god like i will kill this person for god yeah like Islam. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fighter. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to get viewers to your yeah, show. Exactly. Making fun of Islam. Um. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, uh, Benil just this fight was uh crazy, just back and forth. It's you're right, right. <laughs> Back and forth. Yeah, okay. yeah. You're picking. No, it was like they were trading very. Um, uh, it, it, they're just very like in the pocket. It was such a crazy thing to observe. Benil put this smoking hook on Gamera at like, it made it made Alina jump. Cause she watch it. She watch. Oh yeah, yeah. She watches with me. You force her to or no? Um, I've been watching MMA for God, like. I want to say a little over 10 years. Damn. Yeah. There was a period where I fell off, so I can't really claim that. But it's like, you know, I watched like a good like four or five years and fell off for a few years and got back into it. So I've been watching MMA for like a minute. And so so when we started dating, she was like around for a lot of it. Yeah. You're going to bars, watching fights. I did do that. Yeah. Oh, man. Taking her with you. Those were the days. <laughs> Yo, bars would make you pay a cover. <laughs> oh, yeah. To watch the fight. Yeah. Ridiculous. A bunch of bars in where I grew up, they got they got in trouble because you weren't allowed to. They would buy the pay-per-view. Right. And then they got hit with charges for basically like restreaming. Damn. Yeah. So then they had to pay the cover. Because they'd make a profit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck big time. Up. Everybody. We want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, NordVPN. NordVPN can save you money by purchasing subscriptions from other countries at a cheaper price. An example would be purchasing Netflix whilst being connected to NordVPN's Mexican servers or getting YouTube Premium via Argentina. You could also watch sporting events which aren't airing in your region by switching your virtual location wow. to a country which is showing the event. You could purchase flights from different virtual locations to find cheaper flights. Now, I love VPN. I do a lot of Wait, you love VPN or NordVPN? NordVPN. Sorry. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> yeah, of course. I do a lot of sketchy things on the internet. Do you? To protect myself, I like to use NordVPN. You want to protect yourself at all times, um, including your data. <laughs> uh, protect your data whilst traveling and using public Wi-Fi. Uh, NordVPN protects you wherever you are in the world. It's the fastest VPN in the world. No buffering or lagging whilst streaming. It also stops your ISP from bandwidth throttling. NordVPN is the price of a cup of coffee a month. Wow. That's right. How much is coffee these days? I mean, in LA, <laughs> yeah. $25. Oh, shit, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> One NordVPN account can be used up to six devices. Wow. Grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash foultip to get a huge discount huge. off your NordVPN plan, plus four additional months free. It's completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Wow. Uh, okay, since you watched fucking MMA for 10 years, yeah, I want you to rank these three fighters for Oh, me. Jesus. Yeah. You want to do this in the middle? Okay. Yeah, right. fuck it. Okay. Prime Anderson Silva. Okay. Prime Khabib. And Prime GSP. Yeah. Like, rate them like one through three yeah. right now? Oh, man. Okay. I'm... Be careful. Yeah, I know. This is dangerous. Yeah. Khabib? Khabib, yeah. yeah. For number one? K yeah, Khabib number one. Okay, uh, yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> no, I think, okay. Anderson, no one's ever going to be Anderson for me. That was such a staple in my MMA consumption yeah. experience as just... Um, Wait, why? I mean, he, I, I watched him really come up. Okay. Um, And it, it was just magic. You know, the way he fought. A lot of people feel that... 
you know, I've seen a lot of people say, oh, he fought fucking cans. You know, he was a can crusher. And, and he was only so good because there was no one really on his level at that time. Damn. And, but th- and that's when MMA was not so, I Pop. think. Huh? Popping? Not as popping. And it wasn't so heavily regulated now. Or it, it, was he cheating? I put regulated in quotes. Yeah. Dude, everyone was on roids back then. <laughs> everyone. You know, of course he'll never say it. No yeah. one will ever say it, but all these guys are shooting, man. You know? So he's number one. Who's number two? Yeah, I'm going to get murdered for this, but I was never a major GSP fan. I don't think anyone was really. He was also before Anderson. Yeah. Um, I was coming in at like the tail end of his career ish from what, what I remember. It's so foggy to me now. Can you look up when GSP's last fight was? I saw him in a club in Montreal. Yeah. And it was funny because. <clears throat> you talked to him? No. But he was like, it seemed like he wanted people to like take pictures with him. Mm. He was just like kind of standing around like looking oh. for someone to talk to. <laughs> Ouch. I should have talked to him. How old are you actually when you were watching that? I was I was watching uh the UFC starting in high school and it was a, it was when like Andre Arlovsky was being marketed really heavily. Yeah. He had like his mouthpiece had fangs and he looked visually like very Sick crazy. Fuck, yeah. yeah, so I think that really grabbed That got you into it? That grabbed the attention of a lot of people because I think it was such a stark uh contrast to the way fighting had been presented I think at least to people my age. You know, yeah. we kind of thought of it my earliest recollection of fighting is, you know, oh um, fuck, yeah, <laughs> oh fuck. Can you type Andre Arlovsky two thousand eight? Or no, no, no. This would have been two thousand six. Put it, yeah, two thousand six. Yeah, he was looking. Yeah, he looks sick. nuts. So he- yeah, my earliest recollection of fighting is sort of like um, De La Hoya and uh, Mike Tyson and all that. I mean, Mike Tyson was crazy. Yeah. But Mike Tyson was still wasn't such a staple, or boxing in my mind was still like a chess match. Yeah, it felt very elevated. And you didn't really grow up with it either. Not like that. Yeah. No. And so this, I think Andre Arlovsky at that time, all the ads were super crazy with the mouthpiece, and everyone was really hype on that. So yeah, I was like that fight. Uh, Ken Shamrock, I, and then I kind of started watching random like Bellator fights. Well, so GSP is third for you. On GSP is third for me. It yeah, be second. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, the it's so funny the hype train that just got fucking annihilated like behind Connor. Yeah, when he fought Khabib. I mean that. Oh man, I cringed at that whole moment. It looked bad from the outset. I'm like, this shit does not look like it's gonna go. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. Did uh Damn. did I ever tell you six, yeah. when I uh when I worked at Bellator? You worked at Bellator. So I need to know more. I when I used to work at Subway as a sandwich artist. Yeah. It was right when Vine came out. <laughs> so like twenty thirteen. Sandwich engineer? Yeah, sandwich fucking <laughs> prodigy. Yeah. Um right when Vine came out, I probably had like, I don't know, not even a lot, like maybe ten thousand followers, mm. which was a lot back then. Mm-hmm. And some kid walked in. And he was like, oh, you're the, fu-. as I'm making a sandwich, like, oh, I recognize you. You make fucking videos. Whatever. Damn. And he's like, my dad has this company in Newport. Would love for you to like come and like, you know, consult them on their Vine stuff. Dude, I go in there. It's fucking Bellator. And I'm in their office. I'm sitting next to these two fucking 40 year old like social media managers. And then walking in the door is fucking Bjorn. And he walks in. He's like, I have to fucking bring you this little kid to do you guys' fucking job, blah, blah, like yelling or whatever. So pissed. And he's like, all right, like, do you have any ideas for us? And basically on Vine, they were doing like, like weigh-ins, like really shitty, like, yeah. you know, people were just really bad at yeah. like filming shit. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it wasn't crazy advice. All I said was, you guys have hella knockout footage. Just like post that. Dude, I'm telling you, two weeks go by from 3,000 followers or like at 200K. Get the fuck <laughs> yeah. out of here, bro. <laughs> And I never got paid. <laughs> <laughs> Bellator, run Walid his bread. They gave me a t-shirt and some Monster Energy drinks. You're joking, <laughs> dude. You're joking. But it was tight. And they let me try to they let me pitch something to Rampage Jackson. 
Like oh, did that go through? Nah, he didn't like the idea. What'd you pitch? <laughs> you know, like Vine, 2013 Vine humor, yeah. just bad. Oh, right? yeah, dude. Basically, the <laughs> idea. Oh, yeah, dude. I can't wait to hear what this is. <laughs> the idea was we're, I'm playing at the UFC fight game. Okay. And uh, you only see the screen. You don't see anything else. Right. You see me just beating up Rampage. Okay. Cut to, I knock him out. And we're both sitting on the couch. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, in your face. And then Rampage just gives like a scary look. And then you're... Then Vine's over, yeah. Oh, he didn't like that? He, I thought it was funny. 2013? Yeah. He's done worse. Uh, did you pitch it to his face? No, I pitched it to his team and he was on the call. Oh, got it. Yeah. How did he react? He was just like, yeah. <laughs> that was it. Tough. No, no follow-up. Never heard from them. Tough. Then, look at him now, man. He fell off. <laughs> <laughs> What is he doing now? Nothing. He that's smashed a, a few doors. That's a great question, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Yeah. Yeah. So MMA now is super interesting because back then it definitely felt more brawler esque. Yeah. You bro-y. know, it just, no, I wouldn't, you know, bro y for sure. I mean, with all the affliction and stuff, but I think brawler in the sense that. It definitely was not as technical as it is now. Now, when I watch MMA, I feel like I'm watching like Super Smash Brother professionals. <laughs> like it's what? it's so meta, and like the little, the like how refined some of these guys are in their fight technique. If if you, I feel like if you took any one of them and you put them in like 2010 MMA, it would not be. They there. would lose. No, they would like roll the division. Oh fuck! Because it's just so. You have to be so good. Especially lightweight. That's why Benil is so special. Because to fight in the UFC already takes, it, it just takes a lot to to even get there. Did you see the Sean O'Malley fight? Yeah. So yeah. So let's let's move down the card. Um, the O'Malley Yan fight was really interesting. I was reading a bunch of armchair uh, opinions and stuff. And what did you think? Uh, As a casual, how did you feel? I thought Sean O'Malley looks kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> like visually, I don't know, just kind of cool looking. Like he had like a Takashi six nine kind of vibe to him. <laughs> the Sugar Show, man. <laughs> I don't know who Peter Yan is anyway. I only know I know. Oh, Sean. Peter Yan is a is a killer, man. This so obviously not. He lost. Oh, dude, you're <laughs> the MMA gods are gonna smite you. <laughs> oh fuck! Like you're you're a mega casual. I'm like, I'm um. I would just say I would say maybe I'm like high ranked casual, sniffing the asshole mm-hmm. of true fan. Okay, okay. Um, why why not commit all the way? I don't think I watch enough MMA these days to call myself like a fan. Yeah, you know, um, it's really there's so much content now. It's it's really hard to follow. I think everything that's going on. Yeah. The, what do you have to? What do you on Reddit? Yeah, I I mainly use Reddit to like keep in tow with things. Um, but. Some of the information that these guys just drum up, even in the comments, is really specific, and so I, I have to give credit there, and, and I feel weird being like, "Oh, I'm a fan," because those dudes are real are fans. fans. Yeah. Like they're they're really so you're the appropriate. Slightly, <laughs> yeah. you know. I think I, I think I get grandfathered in. Okay, okay, because you, know? you watched it for so long. Yeah, I was out there, you know, supporting the early days. Yeah. You're buying the cards. Yeah. You're buying the yeah through pay per view. Yeah. Bro, calling in to buy it. You don't even know. You don't even know about that. I don't. Call it up, giving your credit card. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, dog. Well, finally, when we've like, uh, my TV plan got upgraded so we could buy it through the remote. The TV? That was such oh, a game fuck. changer. Yeah, bro. After your porn purchases, yeah, <laughs> dude. The same thing. Yeah, we used to barbecue shitty ass chicken and watch MMA, dude. Yeah, dude. And then, and then, motherfuckers would uh would wrestle in the living room afterward. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, dude. It, dude, I want to hate. I want to do that. Yeah, you want to roll? Yeah, I'm done. You know, what's, you know, what's mad funny is we used to. So we used to watch these fights, and then I worked at a uh, like a T-Mobile store. Yeah. And. Uh, my my manager, one of my managers, he was like a blue belt. We talk about MMA a ton. Um, and I think we're having a conversation about MMA and just like fights in general. And there were these two art students there like upgrading their phone plans or something. Yeah. Oh, no, they were refilling their... Um, Minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they were on the... Uh, the broke flame. Yeah. They're, they're on the drug dealer phones. Yeah. That they got to 
you know, pay to get more minutes. So they're in there like topping up their cards. And then one of them's like, oh, wait. Because I mentioned something about like like uh, rolling. Yeah. Not Rolling is, is not also, not only for ecstasy. Right. It's like it's rolling also, through. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's also a term to roll <laughs> Back around. In the day. To roll around with other men. Yeah. That's what jujitsu. Right. It, it, you, know, you, you, you want to roll? Yeah. So I talk about rolling and this art student's like, oh, wait, you, you train jujitsu? And I'm like, ah, my friends do. I'll kind of like, I'll try it here and there. I'm not very good. Um, and he's like, dude, I'm, I'm trying to find a place to train. I'm like, for sure. I'm like, hey, well, I mean, we're watching the fights this weekend. Because back then, you know, you didn't find a lot of people that liked UFC. Fighting. Yeah. So, you know, I was just kind of like, I was just young. I didn't think twice about it. I'm like, yeah, you, you want to pull up. Like, we don't care. Yeah. So he comes through the place and he brought like a vegan potato as his meal. And he was just kind of odd from the get go. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I feel bad for the guy. So as we're watching the fights, we kind of find out that he's an art student and he's a dancer. Nice. Okay. So he is kind of viewing jujitsu like it's like some art. Like dancing. Kind of. Like you like, like he's really. Capoeira. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things like, yeah, yeah. Um, he, he's thinking, you know, the movement and the flexibility is something that he can really get behind. And, you know, my boys are just like, they're just broke. Yeah. Angry people that just roll jujitsu in their spare time, yeah. you know? And, and two of my friends were kind of training to fight amateur. Um, at that point in life, they, they kind of thought, I think fighting is where I want to go. <laughs> so this dude pulls up. And then a couple of them, after, after watching the card, you know, they start grappling. And he's like, he wants to have a go at it. And then my boy's like, uh, have you ever, like, grappled before? He's like, nah. So he's kind of teaching them, like, the starting lockup in yeah. jujitsu. And then that boy just got... His ass. Like he got thrashed. <laughs> you know? They like one of my boys was like kind of cool. Like he was like nice. And then the kid kind of was like, no, do it for real. Yeah. Try. It. Yeah, you know. Oh, that's the word. Make me feel it. Yeah. So this other kid like tapped him pretty hard and I was kind of like, hey, like, we can't kill an art student. <laughs> yeah, not here. In here, man. I don't think his you know, respect to him for even committing, but I don't think his body ever felt pressure like that before. That's some shit I would do. Like, <laughs> yeah. Into it. like yeah, I guess I'm just going to get my ass beat and then come back again next week. Like, yo, <laughs> we're friends, right? Please like <laughs> me. <laughs> Please hang out with me after. <laughs> anyway, the O'Malley fight is, is special because O'Malley... Piotr is the art student. <laughs> is the art student. No, 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 fuck no. Sean, uh, so Piotr Jan, he fought Algermain Sterling, mm -hmm. and Sterling is the belt holder. And previously, Jan had the belt, and it was really controversial. Basically, there was like a strike to the head, and the ref ruled it illegal. And I thought you are supposed to hit in the head. No, but the way, I, I again, foggy memory, it was like the way the strike was committed it was a big deal. You know, people were saying Al Jermaine was acting. He was like really hamming it up in the ring. Like, oh, you oh, hurt my yeah, head. Yeah. Like, ow. Insurance and, scam. Th that's what people were basically <laughs> saying. Yeah. And so uh, Piotr Jan forfeit the belt by way of like illegal. Um, oh, shit. To Al Jermaine. So um, Piotr Jan was. Uh, so he cheated? I would say there's like probably that chip on his shoulder. Right. You know, that I don't think that ever goes away. Yeah. And so he was already a scary dude to fight. And then you just kind of throw that in there. And it's like, uh, good luck. After that moment, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would be afraid to get, I wouldn't want to fight this guy until, you know, five fights from that moment. Yeah. Yeah. When he forgets about it. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. It, it needs to be kind of out of his brain. I still feel it's a little bit fresh in his mind. Fuck. Right. And Sean, he, he, you know, he fights good guys, but, um, they're a little bit lower ranked. Right. So Sean, after his last fight, was like, I want to fight Piotr Jan. I can hang with the best of the best. Piotr Jan is ranked one in the division. Damn. Guy's a killer. And Sean O'Malley, a lot of people were thinking, nah, this fight is like, Sean Damn. O'Malley's going to get starched. Damn. You know, it's, it's going to be, it ain't even going to be fair. And so for Sean to like hang in there the way he did, that, that counter punch he took from Piotr Jan that like really smoked him, you know, um, <laughs> the post fight that was such a crazy moment 
Did you catch that? Mm. Sean O'Malley's like clearly like <laughs> either semi concussed or really fucked up. And so he won the decision and it was really controversial because people were feeling like Piotr Jan kind of took it. But yeah. then I was reading into that like some referees, you know, uh, the term damage is important and Piotr Jan was all busted up. Oh, fuck. And so. They, do, you, do you get points when you're down like that? So there's something called control time. Yeah. I believe they grade on that. And but so uh, what happened to just straight up? Yeah, I got fucked up. So that that <laughs> that uh, that's a good question because that's what damage and impact, um, on the judges' scorecards like or or as far as like qualities that they can judge in the fight, damage and impact is that. Oh okay okay. So if your face is all fucked up. Yeah. So, um, some people are saying the judges maybe gave it to Sean because even though he got pinned down and kind of wrestled around a lot, and yeah. even though he got he he. He had a knockdown. Um, Piotr Jan got really opened up. Sean O'Malley threw this fucking nasty knee to his uh, to his oh. head. Um, I forget it was a, if it was his knee or an elbow that that cracked him open. It was nasty, bro. Uh, so, but Sean in the post fight, you know, he wins and people are kind of booing. And uh, Daniel Cormier asks, "Is like, do you feel like you did enough to win the fight?" And the look in his eyes is like this thousand yard stare. And he goes, uh, I have to rewatch the fight. I, <laughs> I, I had to go to a place that I've never gone to before for this. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what place? <laughs> like, dude, I mean, dog. He, okay. For, con for comparison, Sean O'Malley hit Piotr Jan with like a nasty, like, you know, a, like a knockdown punch. It yeah. fucking starched him. And Piotr Jan took it, kind of like, he, he takes it and he kind of pops back up and boom, he counters Sean O'Malley with like just as hard of a hit. And so for Sean O'Malley, imagine that, like you've called out the number one guy. Yeah. It's just such a scary fight already. Yeah, because he's he has trauma, Piotr Jan. Yeah. <laughs> and he's also just a killer in general. You fucking you hit him with like some of your hardest shit, and it and it wobbles him over, and you're like, oh, I'm about to win, and he pops back up, and he returns the favor, and you're in like, oh, this is only round two. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you could I could you could just call anybody out, and they're subject to fight you? Not necessarily, but that's what kind of made it crazy was that be, because Piotr Jan was like, okay, like yeah. you think you're game, I will honor your belief in yeah. yourself. And so Sean O'Malley, he uh, definitely raised his stock like a ton. Even I think even if he lost that fight, people still would have said, yo, Sean's a tough motherfucker. That dude definitely can bang with the best of them. That's sick. Yeah. So that fight was really cool. Arguably, I would put it between that fight and Benil as the best. So the Dillashaw fight. I watched that one. That's yes. the one I did. Do you watch. know the backstory on Dillashaw? Uh, not backstory, but I know he fucked up his shoulder before the fight. Dude, his, he said his shoulder popped out 20 times in training camp and he told the refs pre-fight, like yeah. backstage, he goes, if my shoulder pops out, don't worry, I'll put it back in. Please don't end the fight. <laughs> so why fight at that point? That's kind of what people's takeaways were after the fact. Like when he said that, he he's in the post fight he apologizes he's like oh i want to apologize to the division i kind of held it up you know my shoulder kept popping out don't and just stop <laughs> that's i think you know some people would say yo after 3 weeks in training camp if your shoulder if your fucking arm can't stay yeah. in you should just go to the public and be like hey someone needs to take my spot my body's fucked up yeah jake paul <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> um Yes, uh, he didn't know, quote unquote. Yeah, the UFC had no idea his his shoulder was bad. So, um, well, what is your take on? Well, so Dillashaw, he he's a controversial guy because he was winning a lot of fights, and I actually watched Dillashaw on The Ultimate Fighter, which was like the reality show where people come up. Yeah. Um, and so he was doing well in the UFC, and then he got popped for. EPO, which is a steroid. Oh, that's right. And you know what's really funny is I feel a lot of people didn't talk about this, or maybe they did and I missed it. But after he got popped for roids, sometime later, <laughs> he started a juice, like, <laughs> like a like a uh, 
like a uh, what would you call it? It's like a smoothie store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was a... called like Juiced or something like that. <laughs> I was like, get the fuck out! Can you look that up? T.J. Dillis- Dillashaw S- Juice Store. Good marketing. Yeah, clean <laughs> juice, dude. <laughs> Make sure you get our extra, extra, extra protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The baby. Yeah. yeah. Get the get the special smoothie. <laughs> this shit will be having you lifting cars. <laughs> Fuck. Just because you feel good. We got to go here. Yeah. <laughs> so I when I was watching the fight, the the pay-per-view link I was using st- yeah, 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 stalled yeah. out for a little bit. Oh, no. Nah. Right when it started. Oh, no. Nah. So then I clicked refresh. Next thing you know, he's on the ground. Yeah. Getting his ass beat. There was no way Sterling or it was like... <laughs> gonna lose that i mean he looked so massive compared to tj it was not fair from the outset so his shoulder popped out because Aljamain like scooped him yeah and he's dropping him down and dillashaw reaches back with his left hand you see it it's just like oh and then he's getting ragdolled on the ground he's getting socked up it, it was bad Fuck. that was over quick and then obviously the main you were cheering a lot for the main event right? i was because uh i'm a big hasbula fan yeah and Hezbollah is fucking coach of the year. Yeah. Fucking Islam and Khabib. Mm-hmm. It's a good time to be a Dagestani. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, da- Dagestanis are... <laughs> Crushing it. Dude, their wrestling style is is uh, insane. I actually, I know a comic, uh, his name's Rocky Dale Davis. He used to wrestle in high school. <laughs> and he said whenever he'd wrestle like a Russian kid, I think he maybe wrestled in college too. He said whenever he'd wrestle a Russian kid he's like there's just no way like you could break their grip he's like yeah you can't break their grip like they just the way they train there's something about it it's just unbelievable well I thought this was interesting so he has 23 to 1 Mm -hmm. someone told me he got fucked up like early in his career Mm. like he got mauled apparently okay and they're like he's gonna win it because now he has like something to prove yeah who did he lose to I mean the thing with Charles Oliveira is that uh, man I love Du Bronx. I've been watching Charles since way back. Charles has been fighting since I started watching MMA. You know? And he, back then, he was just like a young, skinny kid. Oh, this kid. Adriano Martins. Damn. It was 1L. Torched him. Oh, man, you gotta, you, we got to pull up the vampire hunter himself. Um, Who's that? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God, dude. It's this, uh, it's this fighter who they compare him to... <laughs> Abe Lincoln, like the, <laughs> hold the up, fuck? hold up, hold up. Yes, Zabit. <laughs> Zabit. That boy. He's sick. He It sucks, dude. I think he like got COVID and then his lungs got fucked up. And then, so he's not fighting anymore? He actually retired, yeah. And he's he's like, um, he's studying to become, like he's studying medicine. Just like to become like a. Uh... To not get sick again? No, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, he's becoming a doctor to fix himself, dude. Nice. <laughs> Dude, fuck these Dagestanis, man. Well, their wrestling style is like so impressive. So is Islam on Khabib's team? Yeah, so Khabib is coaching Islam. That's tight. And after Khabib retired, he was like, Islam's a champion, guaranteed. And then Islam basically did to Charles what other people were not able to do. Charles, if you watch, he went on this run to get the belt that was like really, really impressive. But he had a lot of fights where he would take a knockdown punch and he'd fall to his back and you're thinking, oh, it's fucking over. Yeah. And then he would either pop back up and uh, return the favor or he would fall to his back and then lock guys up into like wrestling. And and uh, yeah, so Islam just did what others could not do, which was <laughs> knock him down and then like continue putting on the pressure. And then he tapped him out. Did you think Islam was going to win from the get-go? I did, yeah. Damn, I should have yeah. betted. <laughs> betting on MMA is like really scary. Why? Anything can happen. I think it's sick. I think if you if you have good facts like you're telling me. <sighs> yeah, I mean, but you could say that, but then uh, you know, like I think Benil was a massive underdog going into that fight and then ended up winning and the uh, motherfucker's probably lost a lot of money on that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet on the Fuzzy Tube fight. Did you? Did not work out of my favor. Against Slim? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shout out Slim, man. That kid is Fucking cooking, dude. Snake bastard. <laughs> that kid is cooking. He had a nasty, nasty uh And you don't expect it from a kid like him. Yeah, but skinny guys, man. You gotta, you know. Yeah. Uh Slim actually had a had a great fight pretty recently. With who? Um, is this UK YouTuber. 
this English guy, he, my understanding of the backstory is, uh, this dude, the dude that Slim fought apparently snuck him like a, a year or two ago, like s- sucker punched him. Oh shit. And like fucked up Slim's eye. And I think he actually had to have surgery. So this was kind of like, you know, this was like the bury the hatchet yeah. fight. Um, Something to prove. Well, Slim was all class about it. Um, that that dude is a tough motherfucker. What's that kid's name? Ryan what? Ryan Taylor? You watch, yeah. You ever watch Slim's old YouTube videos? Nah, what are they it's, like? They're just, it's just kind of corny. Here. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, you got to whisper that <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> now get my ass beat. <laughs> put the pain on you well, now. Well, that's, that's so interesting to me because I don't expect dudes like that to fucking throw down. It's so funny to think that now... It's actually what people should do in the YouTube like boxing world is they should get really good, uh-huh. cr- build up a crazy portfolio, you know, knock out highlight reels, you know, yeah. beating the brakes off of people, and then just go do slime videos. <laughs> Smash your back. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then just see who's gonna who who dares do a commentary video on you. <laughs> who who's got the fucking nuts to say? Your videos. Yeah, yeah, your videos stink. You know. Do the corniest videos ever, you know? I ate one dollar sushi and ten thousand dollars sushi. Which one's better? Mm. Anyways, I'll kick your ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, he he beat the brakes off this dude Ryan, but that kid that kid Ryan has a chin. Would you ever do Creator Clash? <sighs> Here's the thing, man. I'm fucking. I'm in my thirties. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fight a 23 year old. Yeah, fucking, I don't know. I I would have to do roids. Yeah, like I have to do roids. Yeah, why not? It's legal. You know, clash probably. If I could guarantee that the young guy wouldn't do roids and I could do roids, <laughs> I'd be fine. The other thing with fighting is you cannot. Fighting is not something you can casually do. Yeah. Like a good example of that was um, Michael Reeves and uh, Graham Stephan. Did you watch that YouTube? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So Graham Stephens like that finance YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. Michael Reeves, you know, genius programmer. Yeah. Kid. He like stopped everything he was doing. He trained like five days a week. And Graham was kind of like, oh, I'm gonna train when I can. I'll just do what I do. Yeah. I mean, the, the 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 result of that fight was horrific. Oh, is this it? I mean, can we play this? I mean, Michael Reeves had this nasty little like like his um these little head feints he kept doing, like the way he kept kind of like moving his head like that. Yeah, and, bobbing it. Yeah, and, and dropping his hand a little bit. It just, you know, it that oh, box yeah. boxing is such a science, and fighting in general is such a science. Like, even to have the presence to kind of keep throwing those feints with the face, that shit. It's very different fighting someone. Like if you're just staring at each other. Yeah. And then if I keep. Fucking around. Yeah. Like Call new names. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Would, um, would there be anyone you'd actually, you'd consider? I don't know anyone that I could reasonably consider right. fighting against, you know. it's It sucks because I wish I could train. I was training boxing for a minute and I wish I could do it more. I just legitimately don't have the time. Yeah, you have a crazy gym in your house. Just walk downstairs. I do, but like it's there and I just have to like bang out workouts and sometimes I hit the heavy bag. Like I'll just kind of you know, condition a little bit and I'll like hit it bare knuckle. But other than Jesus. that, that's not, it's not that like plenty of dudes. like hit the bag bare knuckle. Like I'm not going at it too crazy. Right. Um, but, just your fists are bleeding. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's not recommended because like, you know, you're, <laughs> if you can't punch right, you might fuck your wrists up and, and all that kind of stuff. So. How do you, how are you supposed to punch like this? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely tuck the, the thumb in. Yeah, and stick one finger out. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, just punch like that. Yeah, make sure you get it in their mouth. That's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, then put it in their ear. Get it in their mouth and then get it in their ear. Um, Anyways. So I watched I watched Hella F1 before you came. Oh, damn it. I watched Survive, the Drive to Survive. Oh, you fucking, all right. I watched a YouTube video on what is F1, history in F1. Okay. And um, have some questions. Okay. 
Um, you you watch the uh, I mean Drive to Survive is like a good jump off point, but after you like get into F one, that shit is like Desperate Morning. Housewives. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Um, I see more most F one drivers are small and short. Is that's that, not true. Is that why you like it? No, that's not true. Um, George Russell, look up his height. I think he's like six one. But most most you'd say. Ah. Uh, they're they're kind of like in the five ten oh, range. Oh fuck, he's huge. But yeah, no, it, it it is it is true that race car driver build mm-hmm. is not like athlete build. You know, you gotta be like a jockey. A little bit, yeah. I mean, everyone's pretty tall. You know, Charles Leclerc is you know he's five eleven. Look, Max is five eleven. Um, Yuki Sonoda, he's putting on for short kings. Um, five 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 six. Yeah, they're, I mean, decent amount are tall, decent. Yeah. P- Pierre Gasly, is, he's 5'10", but um, he's not built like a punk. Like, that kid ate, like, he ate growing up. <laughs> he ate good. Yeah, I've, I've seen him in person. He's, like, he's a pretty wide dude. Fuck. He can't grow a beard, though, properly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's all you got on him. Yeah, shit. That's all you Probably got on him. my ass anyway. Yeah. Okay, real quick, before we dive into F1 more. But wait, let me say this. Yeah. Yes, I do appreciate car like go karting makes me appreciate being um five eight. Yeah, because you go faster. No, I mean I can I can fit the carts and you know um it's such a such an amazing experience to drive, and if you're tall and you can't fit into a cart, um it sucks. <laughs> you're gonna be less aerodynamic. Yeah, <laughs> well you can, yeah you just can't you can't get the if you're if you're tall and thick you can't really experience it the same. Got it. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway. One real quick question, because I did actually go to Boomers. Yeah? <laughs> and Jeez. The the problem I have, all right, Uh huh. actually help me out with this. Okay. So you're driving, right? Yep. When you want to get past somebody. Yes. Is is the rule to go, in, try to go inside of them? Yeah. Or try to yeah, go Yeah, yeah, go inside <laughs> yeah, of them. Yeah, go in them or go around them? You want to go in them. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, that's up to you. You if you, you can dive down the inside and, and shut the door on them. All right. You can go around the outside. They. What do you do? It depends. I'll, I'll say this. Um, uh, because I, I typically, like anything else, like boxing or whatever, with racing, you'll typically, ideally, you'll spend a lot of time with your coach and other drivers and you'll practice passing. Right. So I don't have a ton of experience in the way of like um, passing really or like training it. Yeah. So... I don't actually have like a go to. I just know some moves like um I was actually There's was, not like the Noel Miller fucking No, nah, I mean there's, there's no one has that. Some cool name. No one has mean? that, yeah. But I'm actually this is a moment that I'm always like really proud of is in my f- second go-kart race, I pulled off what they call the old switcheroo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, uh switcheroo is where um, you take the driver the other driver's cart. Yeah. Play yeah. Him, yeah. Fuck up his time. Yeah, you fucking you lick your finger, you put it in his ear. He goes, <laughs> "What?" and you put him in your cart and you take his cart and you drive away. <laughs> now, nah, the old switcheroo is where you um uh you let them you kind of like you dart out to the inside line so they take it and then you'll kind of float out wide and so they take the inside line and you're wide and then um so they think they get the better runoff and then um you're actually going around them kind of you like then you build up speed and take the position back that's sick as fuck yeah the more or less i I might i might have that backwards but either way it's just you let them think that they're getting the advantage on you but you kind of roll more speed and then you take it back from them yeah damn yeah um F1, right? Mm-hmm. Last few years, at least what I know, yeah. been blowing up. Yes. Out of nowhere, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Kind of like pickleball. It's it's drive to survive. Yeah. Yes. Is it because of the documentary? Yeah. Honestly? Yeah. Why do you like it so much? Have you um, always liked it? I've always had like a passive interest in motorsport. Like as a kid, I would watch like the Rally Channel and yeah. that type of stuff. So I didn't watch Formula One growing up. Um, I actually... I did a couple like virtual races during the pandemic yeah. with some like F1 drivers and then just virtual other. Virtual races? Yeah, like in F1, the game. Oh, yeah. yeah so yeah, like yeah. some companies, like there's a company that was putting on um, 
a virtual race. Yeah. And they actually hit me up because of that Call of Duty clip I had. Dude, that shit was so fucking <laughs> cool, <by the> <laughs> That shit was hilarious. Thank the fact you. that you got the dub. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Yeah, Gulag, baby. So because of that, they hit me up like, hey, like. Hey, we're really, we really love yeah, your driving style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love that you want to kill people with the steering wheel. Um, Maybe you'd want to like, you know, whatever. And so they hit me up because of this. And they're like, hey, we're doing a race. Do you want to join? I say, yeah, sure. And I did pretty horrific in the race. Perfect, like good? Bad. <laughs> oh. Bad, like really bad. And then uh, from there, I kind of just dug into F1. I watched the season that year. Oh, so this is only a few years ago you got into it. Yeah, um, but I've always had like an interest in cars. Like yeah. all through college, I'd, I was working on my car. Dude, I thought you were like F1 legend super fan no 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 not race like car that. posters in your room no nah, no nah. i mean i did have car posters in my room but it was like import tuner and <laughs> that type of shit sick. yeah girl sitting on fucking yeah you know, yeah yeah with your yeah conic wheels and stuff <laughs> yeah yeah um but yeah so you know formula one as of recent but i'll i'll, I'll try to watch all kinds of motorsport really so like okay so i know there's a point system mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. What are, what are the other mechanics to getting points besides just being ahead? Um, well, signing to Mercedes. No, okay. uh, <laughs> that's a very yeah. Signing to Red Bull, reference. Mercedes, or uh, Ferrari. Nice. I mean, there's so clearly like a money disparity. Yeah, that's it's a very problem. expensive sport. Yeah, it's not like basketball where you pick up a ball. No, no. That that's why racing is such. At the end of the day, it's such a money laundering yeah it's, it's <laughs> yeah, like it's like yeah. a it's like a cool kids club for sure you know um if you have the money you can get in yeah uh so it begs the question like how many other great drivers out there exist that just didn't have the chance to yeah. develop because yeah. of the cost cap yeah um kind of a similar thing i think that's happening in soccer um, soccer is getting expensive for kids and it yeah. kind of prices kids out it's actually weirdly reading something about how Mexico has has like they love soccer, but their youth development is like hor like horrible. Why? There's... Because they basically they kind of make it expensive, and then they price kids out, and then the league kind of just ends up being mediocre. Yeah. And then, uh, because they only attract sort of mediocre talent, the kids can't get better, and then they get traded to European teams, and then they end up just sitting on the bench because damn. You know, whatever. I think that was my understanding of it. Um, or it might be that they don't put enough money into it to make the league better. I forget. You're on Reddit a lot, huh? I am. I mean, <laughs> but in in the way of sports, like yeah, I, yeah. I weirdly am like really into sports. Yeah. I. It's a problem. Like I have to, you know, whatever. know the information. Yeah. But anyway, uh, sorry. No, you're good. I I pulled up a because I saw this on the Drive to Survive doc. Yeah. The controls, the steering wheel. Yes. It's fucking insane. Oh, I yeah. thought it was just a wheel. No, that's something and, like, people some don't realize. And like some gas pedals. Yeah. I didn't know there was a fucking Nintendo Switch on the Yeah, bucket. there's a there's a Wii remote in <laughs> yeah, there. Dude. I know it looks really technical, but uh, basically all the drivers are looking at like a, a a Mario Kart screen and they're just driving that and then that's what drives the car. Car, okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Okay, for sure. No, this uh the wheel is like insane on so many Yeah, how, where where's the go button? Uh the go button is on your right foot. No, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's right there's that's a, a pedal <laughs> can you can you explain to me the knobs here yeah i mean i don't even remember them all but there's like um so there's like the the pit button and if you if you like press that it sets the car and like you know uh it 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 puts a governor on the car so you can drive through the pit lane at like yeah. the maximum speed because there's obviously a speed limit there <laughs> Um, Wait, so it puts a speed limit on it? Yeah, so if you're entering the pit, you can only go so fast. Yeah, like 50, right? Yeah, it's like for safety. Yeah. Um, obviously. Drive to survive, man. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you like those LEDs across the top, that's like the RPM of the engine. Right. So you'll, if you watch them drive, you'll see it like, you know, go up into red and then back to green, like for the gear shift. Um, they obviously have the neutral button, whatever. So I think the more interesting aspects of the uh, wheel are is like the the strat modes like on the bottom left yeah um the knobs or whatever yeah just like 
they can control a lot of things. The most interesting thing to me is like they can adjust like the brake balance. Why do you just hit the brakes? No, but the cars are more technical than that, so they right. can adjust how much brake is being applied to the front or the rear. God, what's the difference? So <laughs> the car's gonna stop anyway. <laughs> no, like, see, that's the thing is like, you may want more pressure, brake pressure applied to the rear wheels or the front wheels, depending on the track and like the conditions. Also, the um, the on the fly like uh, dampening, yeah. they can sort of adjust how the suspension works like in the middle of a corner, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's a very, um, it's not just like on the wheel and go. Yeah, and there's fucking like tw the hundreds of people in the control room. Yeah, 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 engineering these cars is crazy. Yeah, it's like you're an astronaut, look at this. Yeah, you're ba <laughs> it's basically like a jet plane on wheels. What's the, what's the, okay, okay, before I get to this steering wheel, what's mm. the steering wheel before this? Rally cars and shit, NASCARs? <laughs> <laughs> the steering wheel before this? I love the way you phrase it. You mean how do you get to F1? Yeah. So you'll typically start in karting. And that will kind of set the tone for your career. Um, a lot of these guys, they carted with each other as kids. Nice. Um, so they all kind of know each other from that world. Um, I, it's, it's actually interesting. I know a few drivers that did carts or like raced open wheel with uh, a lot of the current F1 uh, lineup right now, like the young guys. Um, so and it's, it's like just, a who you know. Not really. I think in karting, you kind of establish maybe where you are and you'll kind of, the idea is to win karting championships so that, you know, bigger teams will kind of look at you and identify you and put you in their development program. Yeah. Um, so from there, from karts, typically the goal is to kind of, you know, show your skill. Maybe you recruit sponsors. And then if you're lucky and you have the backing from daddy's money, you'll go to like an open wheel category um, like Formula 3. Yeah. And if you do well there, you get some, you know, backing for money and then you'll go to Formula 2. And then from Formula 2, you'll hopefully establish yourself as, you know, good enough and then you will um, maybe enter like a driver's academy for like a big team and then they'll they'll call you up that, to fulfill okay. a seat. Well, that makes sense. But there's only 20 seats. So if you're taking a seat, you have to come from a lot of money. Interesting thing that I want to call out is, so I used to do this like Formula One podcast. Yeah. And I was trying Yourself? to- Yeah. I did like 12 or 14 episodes. It wasn't good. But I was trying to develop it. And so one of the episodes I did was with a driver. He was in Formula Three at the time. His name's Logan Sargent. He just like- I hit him up on Instagram. He's like, yeah, I'm down to do it. And we did like this like Zoom call and I was like sort of interviewing him and he was so skeptical. Like he didn't really, he didn't know anything about me and he yeah. was like kind of skeptical the whole time. And then the vibe ended up being really awkward and he kind of just like he did it, but I don't think he understood what it was for. And he didn't even really believe that I was doing a podcast, Yeah, which was really strange. So I had this weird energy where he like thought I was lying the whole time. Or like that's kind of like maybe you he, do give, give off that energy. If I met you for the first time, yeah, you think I'm just bullshitting you? Yeah, this guy feels like you're scamming me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's probably my haircut. <laughs> so I did that, and I decided to just like never put it out. And now he's next up potentially to drive for Williams. So he may be on the grid next for year. F1. Yeah. Oh, do you got for that now? No, no, no. Like, I, think, I founded him. I think I scrubbed <laughs> it. And I'm like, I'm just never. Who's your Who's your driver you follow the most? Um, I mean, you know, I'll, I love just joking about loving ha uh, Lewis Hamilton so much. Yeah. Um, dick writing. Yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Relax. <laughs> it's called support. No, nah, I mean, I just, I like people hate him so much that I just have to love him. The anti-hero. Yeah. It speaks a lot about you too a little bit. Yeah. 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 Have, like your personality. Yeah. And he looks handsome as fuck. I mean, he's probably dude, the hottest F1. I'm saying, like, come on, man. Like, compared to Daniel Ricardo, dude, I'm a big. A, I think he looks good, man. Danny Rick? Yeah. Everyone loves Danny Rick. No, I'm just saying, you have to. Uh, oh, did you see this shit? On the horse? Yeah. Nah. Is this his last year of racing? Probably. No, oh, no, 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 no. Let me, let me qualify that. So he. Well, hold on. Let me back up a second and qualify my love for Lewis. It's not just being the anti hero. Lewis to me is 
hilariously successful. Yeah. Like, you know, not only do, does he go on to win like seven world championships. Right. He has parlayed that into such a parlay. Parlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Careful, 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 careful. Fuck. He's parlayed that into a career that is so irritating to observe. I mean, this dude is in fashion. Yeah. He's in every fucking ad. Got ever. it. He could retire on just his ad money. That's sick. So he's just winning all the time. Yeah. And, you know, this guy makes 50 mil a year, untaxed. You know, yeah, like yeah. it's just hilarious how successful he is. He he was on like some podium, and we were we were watching me and Alina, and uh, the sun hit his dick print. And Alina was like, "Damn, is that his dick?" <laughs> so she's not allowed to watch F one anymore or lose him. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it's funny. This like this weekend she was um for the race this weekend. You know. It seemed like he maybe could have clinched the the uh, first place. I didn't think it was going to happen, but, you know, eh, maybe. And so uh, she was like, he's going to do it. I'm like, just because you got a crush on him yeah. does not make the car go faster. And I was like saying all this shit about like the downforce and the technicals of the car. And she's like, shut up. Just he's going to do it. I'm like, okay. It's the dick print. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Real quick, before before we – um um I got to do a – uh Zach sent him that we usually do like a little segment before we get to our fantasy thing. Uh-huh. Zach does the intro for it, so I had him send in the video from Cancun. Oh, got it. Yeah. Team G Studios fantasy update. Noel sucks. Oh, oops. That's- um, oopsie. Zach, don't ever talk to anyone like that with that T-shirt. <laughs> what is he? What is he wearing? Actually, that's. I don't know what it is. It's bad though. <laughs> What's the print on that? What's the it's print just on like that? It's like a triangle diamond thick. Why does he dress like he's retired? Dude, he has so know. many years left. He needs help. He needs help. <laughs> he actually needs help. <laughs> a lot of help. It's so embarrassing. I'm like, hey, dress nice. We're going to this. Uh... Dude, no, hang on. First dinner rehearsal. He was pressing me on oh you gotta look good you gotta like dress you gotta wear slacks and shit whatever right so i'm like all right fuck it like i went to the mall bought like some pair of slacks i know you cleaned up yeah fucking i'll we'll show the picture here fucking um (laughs) zach wore a suit that was not matching the his pants And it was just Did he just get two different brands and he's like, yeah, it'll match. Yeah, he basically thought oh it would be the same Oh my God, part. bro. And I'm like, dude, you're giving me shit for not fucking, you know, coming prepared. Look at this shit. Hang on. Yeah, there he is. So it doesn't even match at all. It's black and blue. It's yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me let me think about this for a second. What is it about Zach's style? Like it's the substitute teacher. Uh-huh. uh-huh. T-shirt cannon. <laughs> I've said these already, but I'm just trying to pin down what is it about the thrifting, poor poor thrifting. Yeah, that, that's how he buys his clothes, right? Yeah, he likes to thrift a lot. But the thing is, thrifting you can do cool. Yeah, you can do cool T-shirts, cool vintage T-shirts. So how does he manage to pick horrible stuff? Because no one's there with him, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think there needs to be someone there telling him, "Hey, maybe that's not." Does Nati best. just let him walk through the door, and he's like? Look at what I bought. And she's yeah. like, <sighs> yep. Again. That's a shirt. That's a shirt. Yeah, I guess you could wear it. Have you ever spoken with the two of them about his style? No, not him and Tots. Okay. I should. You should. I'm just curious. I want to ask her, you know. I feel like you could help him a lot. I feel like we could. We could start by um, fading his fucking, the sides of his head. <laughs> we could make Zach's head skinnier. <laughs> Where does it look like a square? Zach, you have Lego hair. <laughs> I, I love you, but you have Lego hair. We'll help him. We'll get him a scholarship. We, yeah, no, no. Yeah. A scholarship? <laughs> a scholarship? We'll get him like a shopping street fund or some shit. I don't know. Now, what I think is we need to... Yeah, we got to we got to give him a makeover. We got to fade him up a little bit. 
Dude, he goes to like old hole in the wall like salons where it's like he can go to a barber shop. Yeah, get an they fade. cost the same. <laughs> if he's just trying to be frugal, a barber shop costs the same. Although with this, no, his know. haircuts are like ten bucks. Okay, because they look like they're $10. yeah, they look like they're ten dollars, man. I, mean, I can't really talk. I I cut my hair this morning. It looks bad, but you do it yourself? Not always. I did it today. No, it looks good. Does it? Yeah, fade is bad. You could grow a full head of hair, right? Yeah, you're I can. being you're choosing to be yeah yeah bald. Yeah, I choose to be low. Okay, low pro. All right. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say if you want to get the surgery in Turkey, <laughs> we can to get airplugs. Yeah, air yeah I'm game. <laughs> um, can we pull up the fantasy results real quick? Yeah, let's get into it. Um, first things first. I, what's going on? What? Oh, uh, okay. What's going on is just the wedding. I haven't. Right, but that was like only three weeks long, two weeks, one week. No, but the planning, I mean, everything going into right, it Right, but the, to set up your roster, I think it takes like five minutes. I just, it's a mental energy thing. Right. There was one week where I had everyone on the bench, like I didn't pay attention and Buffalo. Yeah, you had injured players. No, 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 Buffalo was playing Miami and I just like, I had all my Buffalo players on the bench and I was laughing. If I just, if I just did the swap, I would yeah. have annihilated Emil. Here, here's the thing, all right? You were the biggest proponent of the challenge of yeah. the stream. Right? Yeah, don't worry. It's okay. You were val we have evidence. We it's actually okay. let's, let's, just, let's go ahead and It's okay. <laughs> let's go. I think that sticks with us for a very long time. I think time. the do not disturb my job is the best one. I yeah. agree. Twelve fucking hours of that. It's a sleep stream. Stand and you, by yes, it. Yes. And you mm -hmm. have to stand by it. You don't even need to play this. I know what I said. Okay. <laughs> Double down. But the thing is, you're you're taking a lot of L's here. I know we have a few more weeks, but you're you're the last. We got one. more than a few. I'm oh, sorry, ten. We have like ten plus weeks. You're. It's gonna be a tough way to to come back up. Yeah, but that's what will make it all that much better. Here's the thing. What's Cody's record? Three three. Uh, yeah. And what am I? You and Cody are technically tied right now. I think. Yeah. Maybe. So. No, if, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Me oh, and you I'm, are tied. Oh, I'm one and five. Yeah. Oh, me and you are tied. Yeah. That's easy. Actually, not after today, because I beat Cody technically. Yeah, I beat him. There you go. So Listen, now. I know Cody's got some shit coming up. He's going to fall off the wagon. I can I can bank on that. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you don't want to stream, mm -hmm. why don't we just make a little deal, you know? Off the side. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's yeah. the deal, my boy? The deal? Ah, uh, shit, but you tell me. You're the one who might have to stream. Listen, I'm giving you an opportunity to get out of this situation. Listen, I'm telling you. You have to put no effort. Nah. I'm telling you right now. I'm ready to I'm ready to go to the mud with this. Fuck. You about, might want to give up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. We will keep this going. I, I just take your car for a lap. I would rather lose fantasy. <laughs> okay, okay, fuck. Never mind. Damn. You have to answer that so quickly. <laughs> nah. Um, closer to the time, maybe we would strike a deal, but I'm, I'm holding strong. I'm holding strong on this. We could help you, too. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Brooke right now, this is actually crazy. She is tied for... First place with Zach, I believe, after Zach loses this one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fucking, let's go, dude. Yeah. So she she might have the chance. Shout out Brooke, all. homie. Uh, and yeah. then Zach lost to Fibula. Um, Get fucked, Zach. <laughs> get fucked. Put your fucking, uh, let me just get sports talk here for a yeah. second. Put your, put the bottoms of your heels by your ears and hold your ankles and look Connor in the eyes and say, Daddy, and get boned, <laughs> oh, homie. Shit. Get love made to you. Get slid in and out of, bro. Oh, Jesus. He has one ball. <laughs> <laughs> let, <laughs> let Connor, like, slip out of you and you put it back in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is sports talk, Noel. I think you're fantasizing something here. That's isn't it called fantasy? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're actually right. In a maid dress. I want Zach to hold this L because he talks so much shit. He did talk a lot. He's like, I'm gonna smoke you guys. 
He doesn't even know anything about football. <laughs> Boo, blah, blah. Get boned. Dude, by the way, I love your Zach impressions. Oh, thank you. There's one that you do where you're like, ooh, I love. <laughs> I ooh, that. I love football. <laughs> I say that all the time. <laughs> um, ben versus Emil. Emil won. Yep. And then um, I think that's pretty much. And then, yeah, you lost to Brooke because we're actually really poorly. Yeah, I mean, because I haven't, I haven't changed my lineup since week one. <laughs> let me let me pop in here. I need to log in actually. You are not even logged into the app? No, nah, I'm back. I I got a new phone, so you know. Oh God, I'm just hearing excuses, dude. Oh, I just handed her a dub. Yeah, I got Dalvin Cook, dude. Fucking Trey Lance has been on IR. Is this the first time you opened the app since like? Three no, I opened it like one or two other times, but yeah, I have the Rams are on a bye week. I didn't play this shit at all. I'm telling you, man. I'm not. I'm not. All right. So from here on out, you're gonna start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm definitely gonna give it a shot. You have to understand, I am um, extreme. Like in terms of like passive interest in sports, okay. I'm on the highest scale of that. Yeah. I dabble in a little bit of every sport. Okay. Just because I'm weird like that. Yeah. So. You are a little scary sometimes. Oh, why does everyone say that? I don't know. It's your. You know what it is? I thought about it. What? I think, I think it's your eyes. What about them? I just you just can't tell what's behind them. Oh, you saying I have uncanny valley? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why I laugh whenever I smile in pictures. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Yeah, no, I, I oh, damn that. So that's cool. I just found out I'm a serial killer today. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the rest of the fantasy update. Noel, thank you for hosting as zach today uh, yeah sorry <laughs> kind of steamrolled you with a lot of shit <laughs> yeah but. no this is all good things for me to know because i think i might start picking up ufc again we should yep. roll sometime yeah let's go yeah you want to roll now yeah okay on some actually yeah we, we did the lockup what <laughs> oh jesus <sighs> you grab the back of my neck okay This is fantasy now. <laughs> Thank you, Noel. Love you guys. Goodbye. <laughs>